Hey YouTube, it's Tanya. What's going on? As you can see behind me is the blue curtain, so that must mean what? I'm home. So I've been home for a few days. I leave back out and two more days I'll go back down to Atlanta for work. I'm not upset because I'm thankful that I have a job and I'm thankful that um, it, it gives me money to do my passion, which is play with my hair. So, anywho. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is for a quick, and when I say quick, I mean quick. It won't be, this will not be a 15 minute video, I promise. Um, a product review for the Moroccan Oil Curl Control Cream. So I'm going to show that to you. Okay. I got this at Beauty First, I believe, because I have a Beauty First card. And so the first Tuesday of every month, I get 20% off all products. And I also had a coupon for like, actually I had two coupons that they let me apply both to the transaction. So I got all kinds of things for a good price. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing a review is because, well, let me rewind. The reason why I bought this product, and again, let me go back and be more descriptive. This is the Curl Control Cream for curly and wavy hair. You get 8.5 fluid ounces for $32. Okay, um, something that caught my eye on this is it says advanced technology that offers intense conditioning and a curl memory factor. Curl memory factor. Hmm. Okay, so and then it says controls frizz for extended periods. Well, obviously, anything that tells me it's going to control frizz. I'm going to get. And if it tells me something new that I've never heard before, curl memory factor, i got to try it out. And one of my friends had gotten her hair done here in Louisville at the Natural Alternative Salon. And she said they only use Moroccan oil products on her hair. And this is what they used to do her twist out. So I wanted to try it. Now, the question may be at this point, how is she doing a product review when she has her hair in micro braids? And that would be a very good question, so let me give you a very good answer. I have taken down all of the micro braids around my hairline. Again, the reason why I did that was because I had a group of Africans do my hair. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. All I will say is that some of the micro braids, and what a micro braid is, is that they weave um, human hair into your hair. Like they braid it into your hair um, to give you extensions. Well, they're grabbing hair, your hair, and they're wrapping this human hair around the extent your hair and braiding it into it. So that weight of those micro braids can pull on your human hair. Some of my some of my micro braids or my edges only had five or six hairs as part of the micro braid of my hairs. So they were really heavy and causing lots of tension on my hair. Um, I was getting the bumps at first, and then I just started seeing where my hair had been pulled out at the follicles. Part of that was probably shedding, but part of that was just the, the weight of the micro braids pulling my hair out from the roots. So I'm gonna get closer and show you. But if you can see, I have literally taken down all the hair around my edges and what I do is just apply, and I did this about a week ago, I just twist this hair and then I tuck it into my braids. So um, when I came home, I didn't bring my hair products from, from down in Atlanta. I left them at the hotel because I have hair products here. So I wanted to try the Moroccan oil cream on this to see how I did. Now I want to say I've used this before to do twist outs. Um, for the price though, you kind of feel you're like, do I really want to do just everyday twist outs using Moroccan oils products? You probably want to do them if you're going out somewhere fancy, fancy schmancy. But anyway, I will say this about this product. It does what it says it's going to do. Um, very intense conditioning. I feel like I'm getting the same results to my hair where it feels soft and moisturized as I would with something like, um, what am I using, my, any of my butters that I use normally to do this kind of stuff. Um, 
the next part, memory factor, the, um, a curl memory factor. I believe that. Um, I used this two nights ago when I went to a birthday party for my friend's father's, um, stepfather's, and the curl, when I was pulling my hair out this morning, I sprayed some water on it, and the curls just instantly went back with no kind of manipulation, no kind of additional work. I just wanted to redo it because I needed to tuck them back into my braids because they had slipped out so I had like hair sticking out um, and I like playing with products so I did apply more this morning. But it works very good and no frizz problems. Um, as you can see when this dries it's going to look the exact same. I had no problems maintaining this look um, and in the back Still, all the hair has just stayed laid down, no frizz issues, no tangling issues. So I'm going to give the Moroccan Oil Curly Control Cream an A+. Um, Price-wise, again, people do what works for you on your budget. This is an expensive product. Um, there are other products that are going to do pretty much the same job. Maybe not an A+, maybe... Um, an A minus or a B plus, but you know that's not a bad thing. Um, work with what you got. Um, I still support the curl defining cream. Still use Jane Carter. We'll still be using Jane Carter curl defining cream for my twist outs. We'll be using this for my twist outs. And again, I've always told you there are so many other products. I still probably will be using. Well, not probably. I'll still use my original formula, um, Karen's Body Beautiful and Honey Oatmeal. But again. I save that because once it's gone, it's gone, and um, because the new products are crap. So, but yeah, this is and it smells really good. It's um, all the Moroccan oil products smell the exact same. It smells probably like several flowers mixed together, but it's not heavy. It won't. It doesn't give me a migraine. So you know that makes me very happy, and. Um, it's not greasy. It's, it's just nice. So again, I give this an A+. Plus. Um, my hair is very coarse and very thick. Um, I think I'm more of a, a 3C, 4A kind of person because um, I do have the tight, very tight trolley temple curls, but then I also have the wavy hair in the front, which might, let me take that back. I'm a 3A, a 3C, and a 4A but I have the full gamut of that range of hair. But anyway, that's it. So you guys have an awesome day and take care. Bye.